Jill Bradshaw did everything a mother could to make sure her newborn would be perfect. I did every genetic test that was available. I ate organic everything, no indications that she was gonna be unhealthy. But baby Elise wasn't perfect. Doctors found out she was born with CHARGE syndrome. So CHARGE syndrome is a genetic uh, condition, um, a syndrome that can affect multiple uh, uh, organs in the body. In her case, her primary uh, problem with CHARGE was that she was born deaf and that she had uh, severe inner ear malformations. Uh, in her case specifically, it meant that um, because her auditory nerve was not present, uh, she could not receive a cochlear implant to help improve her congenital deafness. Dr. Lee recommended Elise have an ABI. An auditory brainstem implant is designed to provide hearing sensations in a patient who does not have the anatomy to support a cochlear implant. Only a few surgeons in the world perform this rare operation, previously reserved for adults and some teens. Elise, an infant, would now become the youngest person in the U.S. to have such a procedure. Collectively, we felt that the risks of surgery and we're no greater at this age in this instance and that the potential benefits were more important in terms of improving our outcomes with the ABI. The family visited Mass Eye and Ear in December and the surgery for their daughter happened this past March. I just signed to her, I love you, and just gave her tons of kisses and hugs and smiles and reassurances. I mean, it was two, almost two months before we turned on the device. They were just being safe and waiting, and that was the most grueling two months ever. <laughs> but it was worth the wait. Watch as a signal is sent to Elise's brainstem. She reacts and then is rewarded by a surprise in the box. I probably still haven't stopped smiling because every day it's, it's such a gift to our family that I wake up and she signs to me every morning, I want to hear, and tries to put the device on and tries to reattach it when it comes off. There's no question that Elise is benefiting from the ABI. She definitely turns to her mother's sound, uh, sounds and her voices and is beginning to vocalize as well. So these are all good indicators of auditory benefit. It's just changed her world and it's made it so much bigger. If the dog walks down the hall, she starts signing dog to us and you know, all she's hearing is the tip tap of the paws on the, on the ground and we're like, how does she even know this? The whole experience here in Boston with the teams was 100% professional. Dr. Lee is a compassionate, organized, intelligent man. They helped us through every stage of the process, answered all our questions. Well, I couldn't be more thrilled to be part of this family and this team of professionals here at Mass Eye and Ear, as well as at Mass General Hospital. Uh, we're one of four centers in the U.S. providing this subspecialty service to uh, families and their children who have the need for a possible ABI. Mass Eye and Ear is continuing its research to improve the technology that will help many more children like Elise going forward. A year ago, we wouldn't have even imagined that when we found out that she was deaf for the first time, um, for her to be able to talk and speak and hear and carry on a conversation. I can't even imagine the day that she looks at me and says, I love you, Mom. It makes everything worth it.